Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you so much for all your support because you keep this channel going. And with your support, I want to continue with Daniel Pintado Game Development Studio to help small developers to create their game in the easiest and cheapest way possible, helping to provide you with assets, animation, grouping, and also my personal help absolutely for free. Also how to get grants from, for example, Epic and Kickstarter or even how to publish your game in different platforms like Steam, Epic, etc. And you will not have to give me credit, commission or anything. So there will be some guidelines to follow for the order or the project to help. You only have to enter to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel and in the upper right corner and click in the link. Or in the description of this video you will have the link. At the end of this page, you will have questions and answers already answered by me about the YouTube channel and the project, and I will be updating this page with new and content, so stay tuned. So if you want to help me with this project, you only have to enter in my coffee page and donate the amount you want, or you can be a member for exclusive content and support. You can also hire me as a freelancer to advance more faster or if you want, I can create a complete game for you. I will be updating this membership with new exclusive content and more stuff. And if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord channel. So if you need help in your project or maybe you need help in the tutorial or the tutorial is not working for you or you have a request video or something, you can talk with me in the Discord. So thank you for watching and let's start the tutorial. So this one is a, a request video. They ask me how to optimize when you have a, a lot of the NPCs, uh, enemies in the game. So I'm going to show you a way to, to show the enemies when you only need it. For example, if you go some, um, some areas, uh, areas, you can see the enemies. If you get out of the area, you're going to don't see it at all. So it's really easy to do, so let me show you that. Uh, so first I need to create some um, NPC. So I create this one really fast. I only do it during the beginning play. You're only looking for a random point. So they're gonna move around. Uh, when they success to do it, they're gonna wait a little bit. You wanna do that over and over and over again. So it's re really easy. Uh, so they don't give it too much problem on that and also you always gonna need a navigation mesh so if you have a navigation mesh if you uh, press um, P you can see all the navigation you're gonna uh, the NPC uh, do so that's really easy uh, so let's show where I start with the tutorial so first you're gonna need um, all the stuff and also let's create the the areas for that so let's right click Go to blueprint class and it's gonna be an actor. So I'm gonna call this, uh, I'm gonna call it use actor. <laughs> I don't have too many ideas. Well, let's set MPC um, blocks, for example. Uh, you can use the name where you want. So in here, let's put this down. We're only gonna need a box collision. You can use a sphere collision if you want, but for me, I'm gonna use a box collision. So you're gonna need a box collision like that. So the first we need to do is to get the uh, add event and begin overlap, and also we're gonna need the end overlap. Also, we don't need nothing on this. I don't like to see in there. Okay. So let's put this like this, and that's it. So to avoid casting here, so I don't want to, uh, because this tutorial is about optimization, uh, the best way to avoid this is just go to other actor, put equal. So if it's equal to get player character, character. so if it's the same like the uh, player character, we want to do stuff. If we don't, we don't do it. Uh, we don't want to do nothing at all. So this is gonna help us not to casting at all. You can casting, but if you can avoid it, better. So let's uh, copy and paste this stuff because we also need it from when the can end overlap. 
So if these equal, I'm gonna be the opposite. So it'll look better. Something like that. You don't need to be perfect in these. Okay. So if it's true, we want to do something. So first, you can see what you're talking about. If I put the MPC here, so if you go play, we can see this guy running around. But I don't want to be there uh, right now. So only when I close, when I pass from the middle from here to this side, if I get out, I don't want to see this guy at all. So let's do that. So let's go to NPC box. So in here, they want to, if it's true, I want to spawn actor from class. We want to be a, a spawn transformation. Let's we can split it. We can give it the location we want it. So a good way to do this is well, we need to select the class first. So how do you call it? MPC and test. So we have here the whatever we want. Uh, so we want to be the spawn transformation location. So a location they want to be whatever you want in here. So for reference, I can just put this guy here. So I want to copy the location. Well, I can copy this one first. So let's copy this one. Let's paste in here. And also I'm going to need the, this one. So copy, um, paste it right here. So we have a location. Um, and we can delete this guy from the map. So now we have the location we wanted. So if we go uh, inside, we want to spawn this guy. So let's see if it's still working. So let's go to the box, put it right here. So let's make this uh, bigger. So only when it, we are inside. Something like this. So if I go play, we don't see NPCs. If I go inside, you can see they have NPC. But you can see <clears throat> it don't move at all. So we need to modify a little bit. So let's go to NPC text. Uh, select NPC text self. Go all the way down. When they say something like this, more down. Okay. So right here, when it said how to possess AI, uh, AI is a place in the world. No, always because I <clears throat> this um, enemy is no place in the world. I use spawner, so you need to be here. He select both place in the world and also on the spawner. So that way, if it, they're gonna spawn, they wanna work perfectly fine. So right now, if I go and say, they will just see they spawn the character, so now they can move. Okay, so now let's spawn to when we get out, I want to be uh, deleted NPC. So for doing that, we can promote this to don't make a mess here. So let's promote this to a variable. We can call it uh, NPC uh, ref, for example. So in here is on component again overlap. We want to get the NPC ref. We can convert this to valid like get, for example, if for whatever reason it's not valid, we don't want to get an error. So, so NPC ref, if we get out, we want to destroy it. Destroy act like this. So let's see how this works. So if we go play, if we go inside, you see this spawn the actor. If I go out, they want to destroy it. So D is better for performance. So let's do the same thing, but not just for one uh, actor. We want to do multiple actors. So let's do that. So now let's make this even better because we want to spawn more than just one. So let's say we want to spawn uh, five of these. So to do this, we need to modify this a little bit. So delete this and delete this one. So in here, we want to repeat this time, uh, this uh, code, uh, five times. So to do that, let's go from true to 
for loop not for each loop we want to for loop only so let's select this one and this is going to repeat uh, how many times we want it so if you use using the flare index like zero i want to spawn five of these i then the last in the i need to put four because zero count like one so if i have zero they're gonna be zero first later the number two they're gonna be one number three they're gonna be two if four so on so on so if you don't understand how to use zero to five for whatever reason or you don't want to complicate this stuff uh, so much you can do it more easy to change the first index to one so if you want to spawn five items you just put five because they want to start from one to the last index we wanted so if five they want to be one two three four five so that's really easy to understand this way but if you want to use the thing in the zero you can do it too but you need to remember to reduce one in here so that's it so they want to spawn this guy five times so let's show you so let's compile and save let's put this in here i don't know why they move it so let's go play so now if i go inside you can see this for five guys so that's working perfectly fine but now we want to delete it so now we don't want to add it in this reference because they only want to add one so i want to add it five times so to doing this we need to select this npc ref and we can convert this to an array so an array is like um a bottle so you can put whatever you want inside on how many you want it so let's right now it's empty we don't have zero elements so let's drag this guy in here that's good oops let oh my okay so i select this guy i drag it like here okay so let's drag in here okay so we have in here so now we want to add this inside so from from here let's put add and connect this guy to here so what we want to add in this array we want to add this with two value so they're going to add one of these in here but like you said they're going to repeat this five times so they're going to add five of this stuff one of these each of these ones they're going to be difficult different to the other one so going to be a spawn actor npc test one and the test two if this has two five so i'm going to add in here so for delete this now we need to get the mpc ref gonna be get and from here let's put for each loop because now we want to select all the data inside so they're gonna be each of, or one of them so let's if it's true we want to connect this through so if it's true the one for this loop all of this so remember this is empty but we added five so they're gonna be five inside so from here we want to just simple destroy act that's simple like that remember the array element they means what inside remember the way what we have inside is an actor if the actor is an npc test so they want to destroy it so let's compound save and let's test how this works so if i go play so if i go inside they want to spawn five if we go out they want to destroy if i do it again they want to spawn if i get out they destroy it but if i close the engine they're going to give me an error because sometimes they don't know what actor to delete and what they want to delete so to avoid this issue everything they said i tend to uh, pending to kill or garbage garbage this means the some actor they can delete it so to avoid this error because you know one error in your game from here we can put the array element if this actor is valid so is valid so that means is in the game we want to destroy it if it's not in the game we don't want to do nothing at all because they mean it's not in the game so why we want to destroy it so that's gonna avoid that error so let's compound save let's go play let's do it again so they have five here we want to go out let's do it again so they have five i get out the delay so if i close the game now it's no error at all so that's gonna be it but if you for example want to modify this you don't want to have five you want to put whatever in the game 
so that's really easy to do that so in here we can promote this to a variable so this one I can put the name we want let's put here uh, MPC uh, number I don't know you can put the name you wanted so how many MPC you want to um, uh, spawn so let's compound save so by default I want to put one so they don't have no issue so they want to be the first index gonna be one so at least they want to spawn one guy so in here let's uh, open this eye so I mean the instant editable so let's compound save so now when I open the map if select the box we have a uh, and default we have this NPC number so if I put here more a uh, number, they want to spawn whatever we want. So let's put uh, 10. So they want to spawn 10 guys. So let's uh, save everything for whatever. Let's go play. So if I go inside, now they spawn 10 guys. If I go out, they want to delete the 10 of them. So I close. Everything is working fine. So if I want to put more, remember, uh, the more you put here, the more uh, take resources from the engine. So remember that also. So let's put something more bigger. Let's put like 20. I think it's fine. If you have 20 enemy in the game, that's really cool. So let's go play. So if we go this guy, so I have 20 guys right there running around. So if we get out, they wanna delete it. So if I go out again, they got 20. If I go out, they have deleted. So that's close it, you know, error wrong. So that's gonna be it for this video. So if you want to support me, you can go to my coffee page and you can be a member if you want. If you are a member, you're gonna have exclusive videos. You can see this tutorial video before I publish. Um, also, you can see uh, another videos before I put it in the YouTube channel for free. So also they're gonna have exclusive stuff. For example, you can play my uh, game, anything like that before they, I put it in Steam, anything like that. So also if you have some question or something is not working for you or you have question about something or just just want to talk with me for whatever so you only need to go to my Discord page. So thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. So bye bye.